Hey guys, welcome to the first video in a series of videos demo demonstrating how to create a light plot in Vectorworks Spotlight 2018. So you might be viewing this in future years and you're using 2019, 2020. This, this set of videos will probably work for that. If things change, I will update the videos accordingly. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to show you how to do, I'm gonna, we're going to get the drawing all set to go before we begin drafting and before we begin, begin designing. And the, and the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, how to import in drawing symbols and lighting symbols and everything that you're going to need to draft your light plot. So what we're going to do is if you are a Northwest student in one of my classes, you should already have this file or know where to get it. But what we are looking for is Northwest Drawing Components version 2018. Yes, I know it's right now it's not 2018, but we are using the version of Spotlight 2018. So I'm going to go up and open it. Uh, I'm going to come up here to File, Open, and I'm going to navigate to where I have my, my uh, Northwest Drawing Components. And here it is, so I'm going to double click on it to open it. And now that it's open, um, it shows there's nothing there. Well, because everything, you have to use uh, the resource manager to look and view everything. So if we look, here are all of our, here are all the symbols that we're going to need. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to make this, we're going to make this called a favorite. So I'm going to open, open it up, open up. Come on, here we go. And I'm going to right click on Northwest Drawing Components. Add selected file to favorites. And I'm going to click on OK. And now I can I can actually click out, I can close Northwest Drawing Components version 2018. And if I come up here to the resource manager, it says in favorites, the file is there. So that's great. That's the first step. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import in, uh, we're going to import in the files that we're going to need for our for our project. I have everything broken down. I have our LED uh, Lecos, our Source 4s, label legends and containers. You may not know what that means right now, but you will. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, import these into my drawing. So all I need to do is I need to be in the drawing that I want to import them into, and come up to Resource Manager, and I'm going to come and I'm going to click I'm going to click on ET Source 4 and right click import and it's going to ask do I want to preserve the fo folder hierarchy do I want it to look like it looks already okay yes so now if we come up here quick though that folder is there so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of go along and do the same thing click import okay our accessories click import okay and we're just going to kind of knock through these here get them done we're gonna do um, wash fixtures okay and the last we're going to do is positions all right so now we can close favorites and now everything all of these draw all of these symbols are now installed into our ground plan so we're all set to go to begin to begin making our light plot the last thing i'm going to show you in this video is just explain what our layers are so i have if we come up here to the layers palette i have lighting lighting positions legs focus points scenery house boom top boom front and border and title block and this is this is the order they should be in because remember the layers are stacked like they would be if they were on on uh, clear clear paper. So we want the lighting on top and so on and so forth. So this is a good this is a good if you're starting from scratch this is a good place to have your have your symbols. And I'm not going to go into what these you should already know what what these mean. Um, so I'm going to leave that at, at that. So what I'm going to do is come back and here we have our legs here we have our 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 scenery what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my palette 
and my layer palette and I'm going to uh, I'm going to gray out the legs and when a, when a layer is grayed that means you can see it but you just can't edit it and then in preparation for the next video we'll put in our lighting positions I'll have that checked so there you have it in this video I showed you how to import in lighting fixtures I showed you how to set them as favorites we looked a little bit at layers and now in our next video we're going to be ready to start drafting see you soon